Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use uh, debugger in MDT and how to debug some uh, simple source code. So first of all let's uh, start MDT. Okay, after starting um, the environment uh, we will use um, a demo project that we previously created with use of subversion repository. And the first thing that we have to do uh, to be able to debug any source code is to assign a session to our project. So let's select the demo project and right click on it and choose session assign session command to open the window with the uh, list of uh, sessions that can be assigned to our project. And let's choose in this example a uh, swap name session. So we'll check it on the list and press OK to assign it to our project. As you can see, the Swaflin session is now available under the project, so uh, we can now select uh, the session, activate the context menu and choose debug option to start a session in so-called debug mode. Okay, as you can see, uh, some additional source code is being loaded to the session uh, to give us possibility to, uh, to use uh, debugger tools. And now we can uh, load some some magic source code that we'd like to debug. So in this example uh, we'll select the AS environment manager module. Let's right click on it and choose session load module option. All of these um, commands can be of course um, triggered with the use of appropriate shortcuts that are available in the menu as you can see here. So let's uh, choose this command to to transmit the source code to the session. Okay, and now we can open our uh, magic source file uh, in which we would like to put our breakpoint. So to quickly find uh, uh, any magic uh, source file, we don't need to unfold all the elements in the product display. We can use uh, open resource uh, window, which is available under navigate open resource command. And in the open resource window, we can uh, put the prefix um, of the name of our magic source file. So in this example, as underscore n, for example. And in the list, we have to find as environment dialog magic source file. And double click on it to open it in the magic editor. Okay, so now let's uh, find a create work window method. We can uh, do it with the use of the outline view. As you can see, the create work window is available in the list of the methods, so let's simply click on it to to jump to its definition in Magic Editor. And now to add the breakpoint, we have to find the place, the line where we would like to add the breakpoint, and just simply double click on the left vertical bar in Magic Editor. We can also use a context menu to toggle the breakpoint or disable it um, to to have it still available but not uh, enabled. Okay, so after putting the breakpoint we can see that there is a small uh, check mark which gives us information that this breakpoint um, has been properly installed. So now we can uh, try to uh, activate the source code and to do so let's go to the console. Let's put uh, is uh, underscore uh, prefix. Let's press ctrl and space to activate the code assist. And uh, let's use the AS environment dialog class from the list of the proposals and let's invoke the open method on this particular uh, class name. Okay, let's press enter and after pressing enter we have a window um, where we can confirm the perspective switch to switch to the debug perspective. So let's press yes. And in this perspective, we can see that there is a set of different views uh, that will help us to debug some source code. And we can see that there is a magic editor uh, with a green uh, highlight in the line where the code execution has been stopped. We can see the debug view where we have a stack trace of the invocations uh, till the code, uh, till stopping the code execution. And after selecting the top frame, we will see the list of available variables in the variables view. So we can see the values um, of, for example, self object uh, or any local variable that is available in this context. And after selecting the given element, we'll see some additional 
information also in the details pane. To do some uh, deep browsing, you can of course unfold the element to take a look um, at the state of uh, its slots, for example, uh, and we can uh, browse it uh, as deep as it is possible. And that's how we observe the state of the variables um, in MDT. Uh, the next uh, view is a so-called breakpoints view, where we can see the list of our breakpoints. So after double-clicking on the breakpoint in the list, we'll jump directly to the place where we have a breakpoint in Magic Editor. So we can manage all, uh, all of our breakpoints with the use of this view. We can uh, switch them off uh, or turn it, turn it on one more time. And now let's uh, go back to the variables view and let's use some actions for uh, this managing the code execution. So you can see uh, some actions are available in our main toolbar. So the action for resuming the code execution, there is action for stepping into or stepping over. There is of course a set of different uh, shortcuts for using these actions. So resuming is F8, uh, stepping into is F5 and stepping over is F6. So let's uh, do one step over. So let's use this action to step over. Let's uh, take a look on one more time at the variables view. We can see that we have a, a yellow highlight uh, in a main RC in a local variable. So it gives us information that the value of this variable has been changed. And with the use of this action we can step over one more time, we can also try to use a step into to go deeper to the expression that we uh, had before doing the step. And uh, of course we can also uh, resume the thread execution to, to, to resume the, the execution. And we will see the Aztec Environment uh, Manager window which is very simple application that we loaded to our session. Okay, so let's switch it off. And uh, in case of a debugger, there is also some uh, set of uh, preferences that can be changed. And to do so, let's go to Window, Preferences, Magic, and uh, Debug. Here is the set of different options that can be changed for our debugger. If you would like to customize it, have to go to those preference pages and change it to, to conform it to your own needs. Okay, so that was I think a short description of a debugger. And thank you for, for watching and listening.